Good morning. My name is Lily. I'm the attending dentist today. I see that we got your x-rays and they look really good. I didn't see any cavities. I'm going to need to take a look, do a little examination to make sure that they look really healthy. Um, I'm going to start today by just measuring the spaces in your gums. Um, you'll feel just the tiniest little poke, but I'm very gentle. And then we will just get to your cleaning. And I'll be doing that too, because I'm the one attending. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put your chair down, if you don't mind. And we're going to tilt you back a little bit. There you go. Yeah, got to have the mouth that horizontal there. Pull up my chair. Okay. Okay. If you can just open up wide for me. Thank you. I am going to measure between your teeth here. Christine? Christine? Oh, good. Yeah. Um, can you please write this down in the patient's chart? Thank you. Okay. Two, three, two. Three, two, three. Two, three, two. Did you get all that, Christine? Sorry, it was kind of quiet. Awesome. Would you go grab um, the the gift bag thing? Thank you. Okay, thank you for that. Um, it looks pretty good. You have a couple spaces um, that we'll address. Better brushing habits will help with that. But like I said, I don't see anything really serious in there. So um, let's go ahead and proceed with your cleaning. If you could please open up your mouth and turn towards me just a little bit. Thank you. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to be going in with the scaler here. And you have pretty decent brushing habits, so it shouldn't take too long.
so the front sides of your teeth look really good, okay? It looks like you brush very, very well, but I'm noticing a little more plaque on the back side, which is very, very typical. So, you're not alone there. It just means you need to make sure that you are dedicating the same amount of time to the backs as you are to the front. I can also sort of tell that you're in need of, um, of a new toothbrush. It's kind of like, um, you ever use those green scrubby pads for dishes and then after, you know, a couple weeks you realize that they are not scrubbing dishes anymore? Same thing with your toothbrush. It's just not going to do a good job after it gets old. Especially important to get up near the gum line. Which, like I said, in the front, you're doing a great job. In the break? Yeah, no problem. Shut your mouth out. Okay. Open back up. Thank you. side here. Sure. Mm, yes, uh, just flossing and, and polishing after this. Um, I am noticing here that although you do not have any cavities, which is fabulous, totally fabulous, um, you do have a chipped tooth here in the back. And have you noticed any here? Have you noticed any sensitivity with it? The pain? Okay, it would be my suggestion that we get that fixed. Yeah, so our teeth are coated with, are coated with enamel, which is like a protectant for them, okay? When you chip a tooth, there's no enamel on the part that got chipped. It is a breeding ground for bacteria because it's porous. It's easy for them to get in there. And so we often highly recommend that people get their get their broken teeth fixed because it could lead to serious cavities down the line. It looks like you've been taking really good care of it. And if that's something that you want to do, you can continue to do that. But if I were you, I would just set up a set up an appointment to come get that filled. It's just like a cavity. Um, well, it's just like treating a cavity. Yeah, it's a busy day here. It's a, it's a couple.
dental hygienists in that are doing cleanings, but sometimes I need to get down and dirty and do what I went to dental school for. Both of the other doctors are out. spot for me. <laughs> it's actually something I kind of miss being a dentist now so I don't do the cleanings as often as I actually. I really like cleaning teeth. and your, uh, your gift bag. I don't know why we call it gift bags. It's tooth cleaning stuff. It's not exciting. <laughs> I mean, we could make it exciting, but I mean, when you get a gift bag, you usually expect something delicious in there. And, mm, it's a, <laughs> a little counterproductive when you're a dentist. just a little more towards me again. <laughs> Thank you.
Oops, no. Just a couple little spots. In the back here that I wanted to get. Okay. Those are beautiful. Alright. You like to make sure that your teeth are totally clean before we do the polishing part. So I'm just gonna open big and wide for me. Thank you. food back in your teeth, you know. I'll show you at the end. I know it's really kind of condescending <laughs> to have showing an adult how to flush their teeth, but it's, it's just something we do. Some people don't know how to floss their teeth. I assume you do, but... your mouth feeling? You need a break? Okay. Uh, we're going to do the polishing next. It is a very strong mint flavor. Um, I apologize uh, how strong it is. <laughs> Let me just make sure we have the polish we're looking for. Alright, sorry, I'm going to place this on your on your stomach, is that okay? Your little side table's broken. Okay. You let me know if you need a break, okay?
batteries are running out a little bit. He switched the battery up and it's been nothing but trouble. polish is going to uh, act kind of the same way enamel does. It's going to give you a protection against plaque. Looks fabulous. If you would, you want to spit for me? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. And then I'm just gonna take a look, and I'm gonna just get rid of all the extra. And sometimes the polish leaves behind little rock, like it just feels gross. So I'm just gonna. Especially if you've been having some some sensitivity issues, it's it's a good idea to get it done, and your insurance covers it, so may as well, right? Teeth feeling nice and clean. Good. Okay, my dear. Well, I have your gift package. Sorry, we don't have any choices this time. Put that in there. I'm getting you a new toothbrush. We only have the soft ones right now. And I'm going to be honest with you. Soft doesn't cut it. You want to do the medium at least, but this will be better than what you've been using because I can tell that your toothbrush is quite old. So, but think about going and just picking up like a two or three dollar one from Rite Aid or whatever. Um, we've got your good old dental floss. I'm going to remind you, like I did last time, Glide is not good dental floss. Do not buy Glide. Make sure that you get waxed or stuff that's rough enough to actually get in between your teeth. And we just started doing this recently because 
our patience just will not floss. And <laughs> so we've been trying to encourage our patients to floss more. We're now giving out packages of these. This isn't a lot. It's not going to be. I'm here. Let me, let me put you back up. <laughs> One time. It's always weird to have people talking down at you like that, right? Okay. Um, these are for uh, flossing, obviously. I will be honest, they are not as good as regular dental floss. That is because they do not have very much surface, and people tend to stick them back in their mouth with the food that they had just pulled out of their mouth on it. So, but... The only way you're going to floss is if it's fun and easy. We send these home now, too. Also, because we tend to see the families, and be, honestly, because this company gave us, like, 20,000 of these, we started sending these home. These are really only good for people with braces. They're a little bottle brush, essentially. The, the, yeah, they're essentially a bottle brush that you just stick in the crevices of your teeth up above and for kids with braces who can't floss normally and can't get up and in there like like that so uh, we've been sending these home as well also because we gotta get rid of them so, but they can be really fun um yeah oh yeah and we've got your toothpaste too good old colgate because that's what we get so i'm gonna go ahead and talk to the front desk and i'll get you set up to come back to get that filling on the broken tooth done okay and we can see you in a couple weeks for that. It was really nice to see you again.